How's it going, Reef Keepers? Hope everybody's having a good middle of their week. I wanted to go through a problem that I recently encountered with my uh, Radeon G6 XR15 Pros. Um, these reef lights have been fine for me so far. Uh, some connectivity issue and some issues with like the clock and stuff like that, like the turn it off at different times. Um, but uh, this is by far the most serious and significant issue that I have encountered. So where I wanna start talking about it is uh, my Neptune Apex uh, pH graph. And as you can see, it's recovering pH right now, but there was a significant event that occurred right about here. Like you can see that my trough is about 8.1 and my peak is about 8.4 consistently, and it's consistent on back. And then suddenly somewhere in this vicinity, uh, pH started dropping day over day. And I don't know, we had, you know, some cold weather, so the windows were shut more, and I just kind of attributed it to that at first. And then this happened, and I was real concerned, and I didn't know what could be causing it. I, I thought maybe, like, my calc line was clogged, or, you know, I didn't know. Um, you know, I was kind of trying to figure it out, and actually, my five-year-old daughter said, as I was in here tinkering with stuff and checking lines, and she was like, dad, the tank is dark. And I looked at it real close and I was like, yeah, I was like, you're hundred percent correct. Like the tank looked dark and I've got, as you can see, some Quanta pros right here and right here flanking the XR 15s, by the way, great light and check out my review on those. And the Quanta Pros are so bright and intense that they were kind of obscuring, at least, you know, to my older eyes, I guess, um, the immediate reality that, yeah, like when you really do stop and look at it, the tank does look dimmer, right? So the issue is rectified right now. Tank lights are ramping up, just to be clear. Um, it's not ongoing. But uh, basically, I hopped into the... Uh, Mobius app right here. Just let it boot up and went into my lighting and I started fiddling around. Like if you go into the lighting settings and you start tapping on points during like your, your high intensity period, the lights mimic what you are doing. I don't want to scare the fish and do it right now, but if I were to, you know, tap in this range here where the lights are, you know, ramped as high as they go for the day, the light mimics the appearance so that you understand what that light is going to look like at that time if you go with that setting, right? So I touched, you know, in that region, that high photo period region, and all of a sudden the lights got really bright and they came right back up. And it was, I, by the way, I popped off uh, my diffuser and looked at the light itself and I could tell that all the LEDs were working. So it's not like one LED channel was out. And by the way, that would have been a hardware issue and it would have been occurring across all three simultaneously. So I knew that this was some kind of software issue with the light. Like something was going on, you know, with the communication with Mobius. By the way, I'm like a set and forget light guy. So I haven't like gone back into Mobius. And by the way, I shouldn't have to go back into Mobius to do anything at, with the lights after I set the lights. The lights should just, should just go for eternity. They should just remember what they do every day and just do it properly. Uh, we know the realities of technology, especially like Mobius are not great. Uh, but anyway, uh, I, I, what it was happening was I, I would touch in this area, the lights would ramp up and then when I got out of this window and went back to the home screen, the lights would whoop, ramp right back down. And I took out the PAR meter, put the PAR meter in there. And sure enough, where I'm normally getting 400, 450 across the very top of my rockscape here, it was, you know, hovering at like 275, 300. So I, I knew the lights were not pushing the intensity that they were supposed to push. So... I don't, I don't know that other generations have this reaction when something goes wrong, but myself and my friends, some of who are in IT, in the millennial generation, our approach when there's a tech problem 
is basically like first unplug it and plug it back in and see if it works. I did that. The problem persisted, right? I was pretty surprised. So then reaction two <laughs> across pretty much everybody my age I know is to literally start messing around with every single thing. So I started applying different light schedules to it. I started, you know, applying different templates to it, uh, you know, changing the uh, sunrise, sunset, um, doing everything that I could, messing with lunar. The last thing I would have considered messing with was acclimation to try to fix this problem. So it was like the last thing. I was at the end of my rope. It was late at night. I was super frustrated. I hopped into the acclimation setting. And as soon as I hopped into acclimation and started toggling it on and off, boom, the lights completely ramped up to full and stuck at full. Like I, you know, adjusted the schedule so that I could see if it would, you know, retain that setting. And sure enough, it retained it. And then the next day I was like waiting on the edge of my seat for the lights to come on. They come back on. I testing par and everything else. They're totally fine now. However, what a bonkers thing. Like, you know, it, the, basically what I suspect is that the intensity, because you have this, you have an overall intensity that you can set for the light schedule at given points. So I suspect that the intensity was somehow arbitrarily being lowered by the software without me accessing it, touching it, doing anything to it. I couldn't even remember the last time I was in Mobius to mess around with any settings. And that's concerning. I mean, that, that to me represents like a serious loss of confidence. Like now every day I'm like, you know, scurrying back home to, to make sure that my lights have the proper intensity, you know? Um, and it was hard to notice because the intensity was lower. So the tank was slightly dimmer, but it was still the same, like, you know, mix. Cause it's just AB plus that I'm running on these. So it was still the same, like overall appearance, just dimmer. So I'm concerned now, you know, that <laughs> there are other people out there who may be experiencing this and don't understand that it's something a bug, a glitch, a whatever, a fluke occurring with the software um, between their lights and Mobius, I guess. You know, I'm not an expert in this, but uh, the way to fix it is absolutely, and as far as I can tell, to hop into acclimation, toggle acclimation on and off, and somehow it overrides this like rut that the software is getting stuck in where it wants to ramp your light intensity down every time you try to set it higher. But guys, like, you know, I mean, that's, that's a good way to significantly negatively impact your coral in your tank and just overall tank health in general. I mean, everything is affected by that light every day. And had my kid not said anything, I just continued to be confused for a few more days. I don't know what the consequences would have been. Um, technically, you know, lowering light does not like hurt corals, but this was causing a ripple effect across everything. My uh, alkalinity and calcium consumption were plummeting. I mean, now I have to spend days, you know, massaging the tank back into consistency and predictability with regards to uh, how much alkalinity and calcium they're intaking on a daily basis. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a tremendous upheaval for a tank that was running basically on autopilot. You know, I was starting to see decent growth on things and now it's like, here comes this blip in the radar. And again, had it gone on long enough, it would have been a way bigger blip in the radar. Um, way, way bigger impact. Um, not necessarily anything dying, but like, you know, your growth is just going to go way, way down. And then you're going to have to spend all this time resetting it. So check your lights, check your XR15s. I don't know if it affects the G5 or G4 or anything like that, but your G6, XR15 Pros, if you've got those lights, like take a hard look at your tank. Does it look dim to you? If it does, get out a PAR meter or hop into Mobius and start messing around with the acclimation setting and see if all of a sudden it gets brighter because some kind of glitch was overridden by toying with that setting. Uh, I highly suggest that you take a hard look at it. So 
anyway, just wanted to get this out there and, um, you know, show you the pH graphs, you know, that was really something that was going on and, uh, you know, hopefully kind of head this off if it's happening to anybody else. I hope this was an isolated glitch to me, but who knows? So, all right, guys. Anyway, um, hope, hope you're having a great week and, uh, yeah, I just expect more content. I've already got videos planned for the rest of the week. Have a good one.